Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Vikas Patil. This is the 10th chapter of grade 9. Weathering. In this chapter, we are going to explore in detail about the processes that bring about changes on the surface of the earth. Earth surface is very dynamic. it has undergone several drastic changes over geological history flatlands have risen high and turned into tall mountains and plateaus on one hand and on the other hand these tall mountains have been slowly turned back to flat land this process of creating a balance on the surface of the earth has been going since the early times of earth formation no human being can watch for millions of years as mountains are slowly built nor can we watch as those same mountains gradually wear away however have been able to ride your bike or walk along a brand new sidewalk or road what do you experience the new road or sidewalk is smooth and even if it was made well there won't be any cracks or bumps does that smooth surface stay that way certainly over millions of years it will completely disappear but we don't have to wait that long if you live in a part of the world that has cold winters you may only have to wait one year to start seeing changes these changes are very slow but we can notice evidences of these changes on the surface when rocks are exposed to the harsh and ever changing atmosphere they are severely punished and broken down into small pieces known as sediments or regolith in this chapter we will try to understand how the process of weathering takes place the chapter has been divided into three topics gradation weathering and soil formation and mass wasting this is the first session of this in this session we are going to learn in detail about weathering in this session we are going to try and achieve the following objective identify causes behind the changing earth surface differentiate the processes responsible for changing the earth surface define gradation analyze the process of gradation into various processes and sub processes predict the end result of gradation and cite an example for the same before we begin our exploration about weathering let us look at some of the common misconception that exist regarding the same weathering and erosion are same weathering is similar to weather weathering is a fast process one day the entire earth surface will be flat well all these are misconceptions let us explore the facts the landscape of the earth is constantly being changed by two broad categories of processes internal processes and external processes internal processes are the plate movements volcanic eruptions earthquakes whereas the external processes include weathering and erosion while internal processes act from inside the earth external processes act from outside the earth in addition internal processes are faster and they result in elevating the land whereas the work of external processes is slow and it tries to level the land the internal processes result in two changes which are remarkable and easily noticeable whereas external processes take their time the changes caused by them are less remarkable and they carve the land forms 
so the work of external processes cannot be undermined because the landforms that we observe on the earth's surface have largely been carved out of the work of external processes here is a flow chart showing the internal and external processes tectonic movements and mag eruption of magma are the two main processes that lead to changes from within the earth surface whereas weathering and gradation can be termed as the two sub processes that work from outside the earth surface and result in the leveling of land the earth surface is not flat there are highlands and lowlands mountains and sea all these features are not at a common level the work of external processes is to try to bring the earth surface to a common level a process known as gradation practically speaking in nature this is not possible because the internal processes will always interfere with the work of the external processes gradation is achieved through two processes gradation is the sum total of all processes which bring the earth surface to a common level gradation itself can be seen as consisting of two processes degradation the process by which the level of lowland is raised and degradation the process by which the level of the highland is brought down nevertheless if the process of gradation were complete the earth surface would reduce to a very flat smooth surface known by geomorphologists as a peneplain therefore there are no peneplains on the earth surface today but the only place on the earth which resembles a peneplain is a copper peneplain in central new south wales australia whenever rocks are broken into smaller pieces they turn into what we call as rivulet or sediments this was all for the session in the next session we will focus on types of weathering don't forget to watch thank you